All right, let's get back and do another video, even though I know nobody's watching. Actually, it's been pretty cool because I can just practice and get used to talking and not sweat it. Yesterday, I found the end game fundamentals under drills. As I mentioned before, if you click learn, go to the far right side, click more, and go down to practice. Right here, practice. Then click where the whistle says drills, click that, and then end game fundamentals. So you can see I've done a bunch of these. What I do is just start here at the top and I turn it on maximum. So it's like I'm playing, you know, Super Grandmaster or something. And uh, we'll see if I can if I can do it and if I can do it quickly. See, the idea here is to keep in front of that king. Like right now, I want to take this, but he'll come down. Right. See, now we got pro now we might have a problem. Get in front of him again, off to the side, and then boom, all the way, queen. And now what I do is I practice this because this will come up. You'll have an end game where this will happen, and you got to know how to do it expeditiously <laughs> without screwing up. silly boy all right maybe not the quickest but I got it done all right so then what I do is I go on to the next one king and pawn versus king attacking king in front two okay let's go again super grandmaster level again I want to stay in front yeah, I keep driving that king back. There we go. Perfect. I mean, this might be the only way I ever beat a super grandmaster, but I'll take it. <laughs> right? Oh, okay. But one thing that's kind of cool is at least you know... If you're playing at this level, don't want to stalemate. Yeah, if you can beat him at this level, then you should be able to handle it when it comes down to any game you play. All right, so now we'll go on to the next one. That was king and pawn versus king. Now we're gonna go king and two pawns versus king. This one has happened to me in real life games. And it gets tricky. Okay, let me see if I remember right. If it's this. Shoot, I think it's this. Okay. Oh, my memory here. A little rusty. Yeah. Oh, I guess I didn't have to do that. And what I do is I just try to cut him off, keep driving him back. And then once that happens, I just start driving my king forward so I don't have to think about it. If he gets stubborn, I'll do that to him again. Just to say, really, back off, buddy. Not kidding. Oh, don't go there. That would be a stalemate. So then I'll come like all the way down here just to show. Cut him off so he can't come forward up again and voila boom done all right off to the next one what do we got okay uh, king versus king and rook pawn <coughs> okay black to move i've had this before let's see if i can remember it okay it's a race to the corner i'm trying to get a stalemate I can't remember now oh no I can't remember <clears throat> oh I think he messed up he messed up yay I win let's do that again <clears throat> I think I was fuzzy on what I'm supposed to do see he's a oh no I messed up you can already tell when you mess up. I mean, obviously, look at the bar on the left-hand side. 
Let's do that one again. Stupid me. But this is actually good, you know, I I feel a lot more confident doing these like this because when a real game hits and I get down into the situation like happened to me yesterday, um, I was able to handle it. Okay, a king and two pawns versus king, a file apart. If black threatens to take one of the pawns, make it impossible to do so safely. Bring your king up, and victory will soon be yours. Okay, let's do it. Super Grandmaster, white to move. Okay, so in this one, it's like all of these squares are covered. And I think the idea is if he goes for one of them, then you kind of take off. But, hmm. I don't, I can't remember if I got the king over to support. I think I did. Huh. That was the wrong answer, David. Try it again. What was the deal here? Check. No, nope, that's not it either. Oh, hmm. I check him, he comes, and then I go. There's something there about... I remember a long time ago, it was like 25 years ago, there was something about drawing, the, drawing a box or something. Like this. And if he's anywhere in that box, he can get your pawns. I'm uncertain. Okay, right now I see the eval bar that has not moved. And it says I have mate in 46. So something here is obviously... Nope! Okay, that was the mistake. Yep, yeah, that was the mistake. What was... <clears throat> okay. Okay, I think that's it. I gotta protect one of these guys. And then he's he can have the other one. Yeah, okay. I gotta see if I can remember that though. Again. Let's see that one again. Okay, so I've got to get to him expeditiously. I don't think this would happen in a real game, though. I think what would really happen Let's try it one more time. See what I mean? Like right now, he could just take. Okay. Right. I'm gonna ask this thing for a hint. What am I supposed to do? It says yes, the king. What else? Now the pawn. Now what? Now the pawn. Now what? Now the pawn. All right, so he's just like, forget all that other jazz. Okay, let's draw the line, make him choose which side he wants to go to. All right. Watch, I mean, I guess we could just go like this and be funny. Duke and Duke. See, but, like, you get to understand the principles here. Okay, now now what would I do in this? I'm asking him. He says, keep bringing your king. Just keep hitting that light ball that says show hint. Okay, come forward. So I guess the idea is that's blocked, that's blocked. So then I guess it's just keep going with this guy. But again, I think it's something like this. If he's inside this box, he can still get me. 
So let's ask the computer. Nope, it says go. And now you bring the other one. Uh-huh, now you take off with the A pawn. Nope, the king. Interesting, you're making him make a choice. Which pawn do you want? He didn't choose, so now I've pretty much secured it. Okay, I, th I think I would want to practice this one a bunch more before I got in a real game and had to do this. one real quick I just want to show you guys if anybody's watching this it's really good practice um, watch bars rule this one I did yesterday and this one is tricky I mean tricky it's something like this I gotta get my dogs. So what's neat about this hint button, you guys, is it'll help teach you, it's helped teach me if I use it. Okay. Okay, well that just made it super easy. Now I know what to do. a guy do this one time like this and for me it it stopped me from doing the stalemate let's do it again I'm telling you guys just go to this what did he say push the pawn first the outside pawn the a pawn okay I guess that that frees up a move my guess now is I would bring the king forward I'm wrong so see, I just hit the hint button over there, little light bulb. Okay, now what? Okay, come back. Now what? Whoa, look at this. Who would have thunk? What? I'm going the other way? I'm abandoning the pawn? I guess so. Look at that. Okay, I guess I got it from here. But see, it'll help your speed too, right? Like I used to hear you're supposed to do this L pattern like a, um, like a knight would do, you know, like this. Wait, can I draw? Yeah, like that. You keep like, hold on, let me show you. Like, so if I'm gonna go here, you just pretend you're a knight. And then he's forced to go back. Then I just bring the king up. Boom. Boom. He obviously can't come close to the, um, the queen. Dang it. It's going to make me do this the hard way. Okay. And let's do it one more time for good measure. Without any help. Okay. Now... So he's staying right in front of me. Okay, and then maybe... Oh yeah, I got in front of him. 
That's where he screwed up. And then I guess if I don't want to just give stuff away, I take care of every threat on the board. You can even do this. And then just ladder. If you haven't practiced the ladder, mate, here you go. So there you go. You can just say you beat a grandmaster, super grandmaster. Let's do one more bars rule. Let's do bars rule, a typical draw. Can you draw this end game? Black wants to sacrifice the B pawn to race over and grab your H pawn. Advance. Okay, let's go. Super Grandmaster. Oh man, I did this one yesterday. Oh, I had so much trouble with this. Oh yeah, I had trouble with this. It's like stay in front of the 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 king and also stay in front of the pawn and it's tricky how to do it. Like this. Now of course I'd come up. Mm -hmm. Then I go like in front of the king again. Back in front of the pawn. Now maybe I'll move this piece. Okay, now let's see we have the same problem. So these these pieces over here are not really relevant right now. The battle is this. Okay, so I'm gonna drop back. Over. Okay, the eval bar still says I'm right. And I think it's... I can't remember, but I'll tell you this. If you mess up, you'll know because the eval bar will drop. Okay. Uh, back. See right there. See the eval bar just dropped? Watch. I'm stuck. Can't do anything. Stuck. Game over. So let's try it again. See if I can remember this. Over. Nope. Right off the bat. Do it again. This is what you do, guys. Just keep doing this over and over. Now I'll go to the light bulb, show hint. Okay, to the side, step to the side. Now I, I'm guessing B3. You guessed wrong. Stay away from the pawn, okay. Now come forward. Nope, stay to the side. Now, now come up. Why, okay. See, it's like, hmm. I'm pretty sure now you move the H pawn. Yeah, H pawn. Stop that. Okay, now what? Back again. So we're just doing this ring around the rosies thing. Nothing's happening. Back in front of the king. What? Go back? Come up. Repetition. I'm not satisfied with that though. Hmm. And see, I can't take off and try to get this because as soon as I do, this guy comes down and boom, queen, as soon as I'm gone. So I've got to deal with this. Nope. Wrong again. Okay, so again, I'll stop here for now. That's a long enough video. What is this? 20 minutes long. Um, this is a section I'm going to stay in for a while. I'm going to go on and do some of these others. It seems like they build on it. Um, like I've done the King and Pawn, Zugzwang, Triangulation was yesterday, Outside Passer. But it seems like these keep building on each other so that you can understand the fundamentals when they happens in your game you'll know what to do now for me i crank it up to super grandmaster level you know at 3200 you know that's up to you but i want to know the the absolute correct moves and i want to know i want to learn it right instead of learning at like you know 500 or a thousand rating anyway that's it i'll go ahead and post this if you guys um, find this helpful just remember chess.com go to the learn section 
find your way to drills and then do your end games all right so that's it guys have fun i'll see you later on the next one bye bye